What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and I'm really wanting to do something, I don't know, fun, bright, pastel-y, tropical, and I only want to use one sticker book. One sticker book for the whole spread. And so I grabbed Pastel Tropics. It's an oldie but a goodie. This was in my mystery bag and I didn't have it in my collection, so I'm excited to use it. I know that there are uh, washi tape strips in here. There are letters in here, headers, quotes, and lots of decorative elements. So I'm hoping I can do it. So can I do a quick and simple spread using one sticker book? Let's find out. Let's get into it. I'm going to start with washi tape because, well, that's what I do. I do washi tape. And I'm going to start with, I know I want to redo the headers here. And so that means kind of laying a good foundation. I went ahead and used this Tombow Mono Correction Tape, the hybrid style. My all-time favorite is the Mono Air 6, but I have them both sitting here, so I just grabbed the one that was the closest. Why did this out? <clears throat> so we have a nice, clear, and ready-to-go uh, base. We have a nice base. So let's just let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Um, my plan is to see if I can just keep things simple, uh, truly. Like, can I keep things simple? I don't know, y'all. I do not know. So I kind of want to keep this lined up. So we'll try to go as lined up as possible. And I don't want to go all the way. So we'll just go maybe... I think I'm going to spell out to do with that, with the letters. So I just want this to be long enough for to do and then to have enough over here for maybe the word post, posts. That is what I use this section for. So this is for my, the to do's that have to happen on a specific day of the week and just kind of journaling like anything that happened that day. This is where I put my social media posts. This will be my home life to-do list and this will be my content to-dos for the week. I also like to include my social media tracking somewhere in here and then I throw in a quote and some decorative flair. That is kind of the rhythm that I've found for myself um, with this layout. And because I'm, ooh, because I like to layer things, I could add, hmm, there are no days of the week in this sticker book. Ah, I'm like so tempted to, no, I can't do it. <gasps> I want to put these down, but I'm not going to. Let's lay the foundation with these letters just to get my headers down and then maybe I'll have a good sense for the rest of the decor. So this is gonna be for posts. So we're just gonna, where are my tweezers? There we go. And I think I want it to be kind of fun. So we're gonna go kind of wonky on all of these. And I'm doing the letters separately or spelling it out separately because it will kind of give me a sense for where to put everything else so it's kind of balanced. So it's kind of balanced. P O S. Post. Uh, let's grab my bone. How are you guys doing? You doing okay? I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling a little tired today. Okay, now. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have two T's left. <clears throat> and I need, I want to do to do. So there's a T. And I'm going to do content. And that's one T. Okay, so I have enough T's. I think I can do this. To do. And I need three O's. So I think we'll be okay. So let's spell out to do. that way and 
that way. Just making it fun and wonky and kind of fill things in with the middle letters. Two. Actually, let's go up so that I've got some room for actually using that bullet. We've got to do. Let's go that way, a little bit lower. To do and content. So this is where things are gonna get a little more crowded. So C, and then we want that T. So that's what I do, I do the outside letters and then the middle, C-O-N, C-O-N-T, E-N-T. I think we're gonna be a little crowded. I think we gotta go low on that one. C-O-N-T-E-N. -E Let's throw a T in the middle. Oh my goodness! We're gonna be creative, hold on. Let's keep going. I just realized I'm short on a T, but we can make one of these other letters a T, so it's okay. C-O. will be interesting. Oh, and I definitely ripped that guy. Let's see if we can save it. Content. We'll go T or the end there. Try to do a little sticker surgery here. Line that back up. And we know we want the E. Okay, let me flatten these out and let's think what letter would be the easiest to, actually I think a lot of these would be pretty easy to turn into an N, but I'm leaning towards the F, I think. The drop shadow is gonna be a little wonky, but let's see how we can do this. I mean, the other idea is just to use an I. Um, or an L, but I think the F is going to give me the length of T top that I want. So we're gonna cut, cut that off. Might go a little bit more in on that. Oh boy. And this side's gonna be a little bit shorter. If I hadn't already laid down the good T, I would use the good T here because it's right in the center. Is it too late? It's not too late. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna lift up the bat, not the bat, it's not bad, it's just not correct. So we'll do the correct T here, and then this one I'll just kind of be hiding. And maybe no one will notice. No one will notice that this T was and is actually an F. Pretty sure I wouldn't notice. I was looking at this picture on Instagram. I don't think I'd know. Okay, to do content and post. Sweet niblets, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, um, so I think just to finish up the headers portion of this, let's figure out what boxes I wanna use for logging my um, Instagram and YouTube information. I think I wanna stay away from the colorful leopard type stuff because that's just a different vibe you know what I mean it's just a different vibe so we've got some cute we could add some guys here
maybe. I'm just gonna add these little floaters here. Should we do them right above each other? Sure. And do I wanna go all the way to the end? If I did, I could just throw Throw these guys down. Sure. I'm just gonna add these corner pieces to enclose this. I don't really have a plan right now, guys. I'm just trying to play with stickers without much of a strategy. And I could kind of close this off. What if I added a quote here and then put the two boxes for social media stuff there? That could work. Let's let's see if there's a good quote some waves find me under this under the palms as free as the ocean go all in I think I want a like long one. Oh, we've got some animals could throw an animal in there we probably will I'm just not there yet we're looking for a good quote we're looking for a good, make some waves. Maybe make some waves is fine. And we could add some more of those clear decorative guys. Oh, maybe we just add some smaller ones. No, let's let's actually finish this box. I think finishing the box would look better. So I'm going to set the quote down and see if I can get this to go all the way across. Not really, but that's okay. And then we want to stick with this color scheme. See how there's like more warm toned ones? Those aren't really the vibe. So we'll have to go with another big one of these. And then we'll put the quote kind of layered. So we'll put make some waves here. What do we think so far? This is kind of one of those like basic spreads for me where I'm not overly complicating things. I'm just doing what, I don't know. I'm doing what the stickers are showing me they want. But we do need two boxes. And I would love for them to be black boxes, but I have already very clearly said I am not I am not going into another sticker book. I'm not allowed. Um, we could use these guys. I'm just not sure if those will be too big or not. Hmm. Purple and yellow. We're not really using purple and yellow but we could use the pink and teal. If we take the pink and teal, we could do something like that. And then I would actually change today to say something else using these guys. So do I have an I, a G, a Y, and a T? I, G, Y. We don't have a T, but we know how to make them. So check this out. I'm going to try to do a solid line I want it cut out like this. Otherwise I would just cut the today off 
but I, I like the shape of this box for what I'm about to do. And so um, I don't want a rectangular box. I like the cutout of the today. I just don't need it to say today. You feel me? So then I still get that cute notch, which is what I wanted. And then we'll take the I, the IG. the YT, and this is where I'll just write down um, stats for Instagram and a YouTube. You. And then let's use, should we use the F or should we make another Should we volunteer a different letter as tri tribute? Uh, I think we're gonna stick with the F and then just hope I never need to use an F ever with that font. All right, so let's do this again. We're gonna cut and cut and kind of do a weird kind of layer thing with that. And then, oh, the details, these little pieces of plastic. Uh-oh, let's try to get this part off. And, the extra stem is sticking out. This will work. It will cut. If you know that reference, leave a comment. It will cut. Instagram, YouTube. Oh boy. Um, so we need something cute down here. And normally I, uh, I start with this page, so it's kind of weird doing this one first. We want to do some like dots. We want to do, let's see, note to self. This is kind of tricky. I am so tempted to use those checklists. Make some waves. Let's get lost. I could do another quote down here just to add more black. waves let's get lost didn't mean to stick that there but when in Rome when it's already touched the paper all right I do need something down here and I think it should be maybe an animal like what if I put a toucan right here just for kicks. So out of my comfort zone right now, you guys. Just dropping stickers down with no plan. Who am I right now? Who am I? Should we do a toucan? Let's do a toucan. In, let's do a big toucan, maybe with more of this kind of purple. Uh-oh, uh-oh, toucan broke. But we'll just stick them. Mm, I don't want the line, I don't want the leaves in his face. So I need to figure out, is there a position in which, there we go. There we go. Position where it looks like he's hanging in the wreath, but to where, where his eye is or her eye is, it's clearer. That's cute. I can dig it. This is looking pretty basic up there, but let's pop over to this side. Um, I could do 
J U L over here with the letters, but mm, mm, let's wait. Um, we need stuff over here. We need it. And this is where things are going to get really, really complicated because I am dying to redate this thing, but I'm not allowed because of my own rules. I am not allowed. So I don't want to cover up anything that I need. Like I need the dates. Do you know what I mean? So how can I add some splashes of color? These washies are pretty cute. What if I... What if I just kind of added some like stripes? What if I just added some stripes in random places along here? Just for a little pop of color. Let me grab a knife. So I'm not able to not able to creatively date but there's no reason why I couldn't add little pieces of color all around just for a little something something I don't use bullet lists or bullet stickers like this functionally and so I am often with an excess of these and I'm trying to figure out, ooh, like, what can I use these for? And that's when the fun happens because you can play, you can basically treat these like um, washi strips. So what if I did one a little bit closer? So you can cut a straight edge with the scissors or a diagonal edge with the scissors and then take an X-Acto knife and trim the other side. And I'm just setting these pieces aside so I can come back to them. Maybe we do, Oop, this guy got cut, got ripped. So we'll just use him next then. And maybe this will be enough of a decorative element to where I'm okay with the fact that the dates are the same. I'm gonna use the same lime guy down here. If I can get him to fit. This is where you need your tweezers to get your fingers out of the way. So what if we just go like that? And then pull this piece off and let's try let's get some blue down now that the blue is further away and maybe one of these will have I mean I could have gone this way too Yeah, I mean, maybe we change things up. Will this piece come up? It will come up. So let's, so this would probably have to be more like that to make sense. And then we're kind of going in the reverse direction. Change things up a little bit. Um, let's see. We can 
can definitely go this way here. And maybe we go this way here. Let's use, we haven't really used the orange, the orange and yellow, so I'm, I really wanna stay away from doing that. Let's use, um, use the small pink here. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we're definitely not going opposites at this point. So this one will have to go that way. Making this up as we go, friends. Making this up as we go. I mean, we could. Let's do pink here. There are more washi bullet list, washi strip bullet list um, stickers in this sticker book. Mm, I don't want to repeat. I think I do want to do purple. We have purple here, so I feel like the purple should be on this side, but it should also be there. But then I did, see, I didn't strategize well enough. I did not strategize. I think the pink's gonna have to come up. Let's do purple here. This is kind of fun playing with these strips though. Let's lift up the pink. Ooh, baby just kicked. Hello, I think she's hungry. <laughs> she is hungry. Um, I mean, I'm, look, I, I think I'm hungry, but you know, you gotta blame stuff on the baby. I don't know why you just do, people do that. Uh, we could just do the green again, that's fine. Not exactly the, maybe we go higher though. No, let's go on the inside. I might need to change out my angle though. Yep, let's change the angle. So I'm gonna go this way and then I'll have to trim the bottom and the top because my angles were not great. And then, you know what, maybe I'll add some leaves so that we've got some balance because there are no leaves so far on this side of the spread and we can kind of cluster them with the washi strip so the washi looks a little bit different. We need to bring some more pink in, that is for certain. Um, and maybe the pink is, I don't know, top or bottom. Let's go a little bit bigger on this one since that one is so small. So we'll go this way and then I'm just eyeballing this, creating a faux line. What should I eat? So I've been on a, I, I can't eat salads right now. Like I just can't. Salads are just not a thing for me, not a vibe. And, uh, and so yesterday, Josh and I ordered uh, fresh rolls, you know, like where it's the vermicelli noodles. And let's do yellow. I, don't, I mean, there's no yellow in this spread, but I'm gonna go ahead and do yellow. Um, you know the fresh rolls that have like the vermicelli noodles and shrimp and a, you dip it in the peanut sauce? <gasps> I think I might order that again today because, and then I, we split a banh mi sandwich and there's just something about like the freshness of like the lettuce and what else? Oh, well, in the banh mi sandwich, there was like daikon and carrot and stuff like that. So it had that like fresh, crunchy flavor without like the experience of um, a salad, which I appreciate. I wonder if I should add a little bit more yellow. I kind of think I should add some more yellow. Should we make it a three for right here? wondering if I should fill things in at all. Do green there, do a little bit of yellow here. Should we? 
Should we just fill it in? A little bit of blue there. Mm. I'm basically just grabbing pieces that I already have cut. We could just repeat that. This guy here. Let's just do it and we can add some leaves and call it good. Anyways, food. <laughs> I, um, yeah, so I got the these fresh rolls and a banh mi sandwich and Josh and I shared it yesterday and it just hit the spot. So I feel bad actually, like we never used to eat out and since getting pregnant, I just have not had the energy to cook and our fridge is pretty darn empty. Josh has been finishing up the Nutrisystem meals that we ordered pre-pregnancy. We were doing Nutrisystem for a while. So he's been eating Nutrisystem, like eating through the stash in the freezer while basically I just eat whatever sounds good and I order it from Uber Eats. It is not economical, but um, I just honestly like sometimes I feel like I'm not eating enough because I'm just not that hungry. So when I am hungry, it's like, oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, I forgot. I'm oh, just about out of scraps. That's okay. Let's fill in with some leaves. I totally forgot Sunday. Sweet niblets. It's okay. Maybe we'll put another animal and that will help fill things in. Okay, so we've got all kinds of cute little leaves and whatnot. I can also save these leaves for like the tops. So I'm kind of wanting to play around a little bit. Maybe we just kind of drop them in random places, maybe incorporate a little bit more yellow since I dropped those yellows in there. Like so. And there's no pink over here, so maybe I'll throw a pink down here with one of these green ones. Just kind of trying to make this more interesting since I'm not redating. <laughs> uh, we do something here and something there. I think so. I say we. Uh, we are not, I don't want to incorporate orange. I feel like that is too far from the colors that I've <clears throat> started. Let's use blue. Let's grab a blue guy. And a purple. Mm, no. Let's use a lime green since we've got purple and lime green up there. This is as interesting as we're gonna be able to make things, y'all. Um, little baby there. And then let's do the little, the lighter purple here. Just a different way to add a little something something. Let's see. So we do need to fill this in because I epically failed in, oh, and this one. Oh my goodness. I am definitely hungry because I am not making sound decisions. Oh boy. All right, so we've got some, find me, maybe we add a quote here. Go all in. This is a big one. Do I have anything relevant, anything going on on the 27th that would require me to go all in? Not really, but I'm gonna drop this down anyways. Anything I need to write for Wednesday, I'll just write down there. And 
We need something here. Should it be an animal? Let's put a sloth hanging underneath the 2022. That'll help fill this guy in. He's cute. I'm not a one sticker book kind of person. I mean, it really is forcing you to use what you have right in front of you. And do we do a cat? Some of these little cheetahs? I don't want to add, I do not want to add animal print though. That's what I wanted to avoid. only option is an iguana which I'm okay with let's do a purple iguana is it possible to put him on something right because we know Elizabeth is all about um, grounding I mean I could throw down one of these guys. Oh, it doesn't match though. I can't do it. I cannot do it. There was smaller, the other are these guys. Let's just go with one of these guys. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. And actually these can go up at the top as well to help kind of bring everything in. So let's throw this one here. Try to get it as flat as possible. And then we're just gonna throw the iguana down here. I don't love that there's two animals here. Like, I feel like there should be an animal here. But I'm also thinking I need to keep moving and. <laughs> uh, I need to add a little something, something to the top, at least to the top over here. So. Question is how? How do I do it? Especially now that I've trimmed this part off. I don't like that so much. I think what I'd have to do is maybe find some individual pieces. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm not talking very much. I don't know why this spread has so befuddled me. I am befuddled because I know that we need, I mean, I could just add like pineapples and there's all these like little leaves and stuff like that. So I could just pop these on. That would bring a little bit more yellow into the spread. If I did like a pineapple. Oh, I'm just not sold. This needs something. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's just not, it's not cute up there. I think what we need to do is do very similar to what we did last week with the um, sewing and throw just little decorative elements all along here. And to do that, we have popped the pages around and I'm just gonna willy nilly kind of drop little guys all over the place. Hope I have enough to kind of fill things out. 
I'm not sure I want to break out the hearts though. I feel like the hearts are kind of a different vibe. So we will not do hearts. We will do the pineapples though. So let's do a pineapple coming out this way. flat edge here I guess we do right there we need more little icons or little zhuzhes stars almost work I could do some stars I'm gonna throw this big guy right there I don't know what do you guys think would stars work I'm looking for more Clear. We've already introduced yellow, so I think we can pretty safe to add a yellow. Let's see how we're looking. I'm sorry guys. You guys seem to hear my my dog a barking. There must be a delivery man here. She's out of control. She's not, she's not really out of control. <laughs> um, I don't love that these are metallic. See these like dots? But I could just drop some dots. Let's just drop some dots. We're dropping dots. I think this is gonna be the best way to fill out or fill in the rest of this because it's mostly clear and then you get some splotches. But when you do something like this, when you layer this many plastic, like clear stickers, you've really got to make sure that you press them down. That works for me. That filled that in just fine. I can live with that. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just lay it flat trim it off and then put the other half next to it and do the same thing here actually I'm going to go on the edge flatten it down and add a little baby guy there that helped a lot actually I am very happy with that. I'm gonna do a little bit more there. That's why I like decorative stickers like this that are like accents. They just fill in space really well. Oop, easy. Really well. So that kind of just added like a paint splatter look. And I think that looks pretty cool. It looks so cool that I'm gonna add some down here. Just for balance. And I wonder if I should go all the way across. I don't think I'll go all the way across, but I think I will add this remnant, maybe just right here. Let's put this on discs and see if there's anything else I wanna add or any more splotches I wanna add. And then I think we are almost ready to call it good. Grab this notebook, lay these pages down. It always looks different once I see it on discs. All right, I'll be centered. Hopefully y'all can see that okay. Uh, definitely need some splotches down here. So 
I'm actually just gonna preemptively cut a, I need my longer scissors. These small Fiskars scissors are great for detail cutting, but when you're cutting something longer, sometimes you just want a bigger blade. I have to find my bigger bladed scissors. All right, so somewhat of a flat edge and I'm just gonna throw this down. And even if it's not a flat edge, it's okay because most of the sticker is clear anyways. So it's not like you can tell, you know? All right. I did it, one sticker book. I can't say that I enjoyed using just one sticker book. Should I throw a little bit of glitter right there? Sure. I can't say I enjoy using just one sticker book. I think it's really hard, like really hard. But I do think that this looks cute and I'm proud of myself for having only used one sticker book. All right, friends, let me know. Do you use more than one sticker book when you plan or do you just pick out one and you actually stick to it? I'm very curious to know this. Come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It's always a good time. And I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I'm sorry I was all over the place. This really threw me for a loop, but I actually think it looks kind of cute very happy with how it turned out. Um, if you want to hang out with me again, I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll do this again sometime. Until then, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video.